What's up guys? So I'm really excited to announce I actually am going to be testing out some airgun slugs from Lucky7 airgun ammo. I'll be sure to tag them in the description. Uh, I'm going to start out with the semi wad cutter, 110 grains out of my Benjamin Bulldog stock power level. Here we go. Five round burst. Actually, the first time I'm using the legitimate magazine instead of the typical. That's one. Come on. Come on. Very uneven ground. This is about, just for the record, I think it's like 20 yards-ish. Two. Let's wait for the wind to stop blowing my targets inside. Come on, wind, you can do it. Come on. Hurry. And that's all she wrote. All right, so let's go see what our grouping looks like. So we're coming up on a target and predictably that's an insane grouping by the Bulldog, as always. I mean, I don't have any measuring instrument, but that's at best a one inch group. I had one flyer, but I think that one was kind of on me anyway. So 110 grain, that's, that's an impressive, that's an impressive grouping. At least for me, cause I'm not a professional shot, but. How's it going guys? So right now, next up, we're gonna be shooting at these 126 grain slugs. They are I believe I called the, the cone flat nose. I might have butchered that name, but I think that's what they're called. So here we go. Three shots this time, just cause I don't want to fill my bulldog up after every other pellet. So let's do this. Round one. Is chambered. Let's go. Okay. That's one. Number two. Number three. All right, let's go see the carnage. So, as per usual, the bulldog continues to impress. I mean, this is probably half inch grouping again. So, I mean, same deal, same distance, about 20, 25 yards. And yeah. I, I can't complain about that grouping. That's more than lethal of a kill area even for a squirrel. So next up. All right, guys. So next up is the flat nose slug. And these are 132 grain. They remind me a little bit, aside from the ho not being a hollow point, but they remind me a little bit of the pro slugs devastator hollow points. And I don't know if you remember, those were my favorites. So let's see how they do. They again, three rounds in the mag. I'm shooting a good 20, 25 yards. Ugh, first round is chambered. Let's do this. Okay. That's 
one. These rounds getting through. That's two. I actually shot a little lower on that last one because I might be going crazy, but it almost sounded like some of those rounds were getting through the railroad tie. So we're going to find out when we go over there. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's the grouping. About the same as before because this one I actually intended to really shot lower because it sounded like... Oh, snap. Well, I need a new backrest or backstop. Sheesh. That's the first time I actually managed to puncture through this. I mean, fortunately, there's like at least an acre worth of woods, all trees. So, decent grouping. All right, guys, the last one that Lucky7 has sent me. These are the round nose, 106 grains. I wonder if they're gonna penetrate. Let's see. Same deal as all the others. Three rounds at about 25-ish yards, maybe. Here we go. One. Two. Three. That's all she wrote. Here we go. This one looks like a good grouping. Eesh. That's got to be like just. I basically hit all three rounds almost right on top of each other, so that's a clear winner for accuracy. <laughs> yeah, that's the bulldog. Let's see. Did they get through? Uh. Okay, so didn't hit that one. Did it hit? I don't think, I mean, there is that, but I'm pretty sure that was from a previous video. I don't see any fresh holes. So they did not actually penetrate. So that's interesting. 132 grain. Actually got superior penetration than the lighter, probably faster 106 grain. 106 grains though were incredibly accurate. I mean, that's just ridiculous.